I am Anil Kumar and here are two practice questions for you. We are exploring factored form of quadratic functions. The question is, the parabola shown is congruent to y equals to x squared. What are the zeros of the function? Write equation in factored form. So I have added two graphs here, right? So part A and B. So you need to find out the zeros and then write down the equations of these parabolas. They are congruent to y equals to x square. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now, as you remember, when we say factored form, we are looking for an equation in the form of f of x equals to a times x minus. Sometimes you use p or q, sometimes you use r and s. Anything you could write, but these two are the values of x intercepts, okay, x minus s. So it all depends which book you use, what format you use, right? Since we say it is congruent to x square, that means a value is 1. Remember, it could be minus 1 also. Even then, the parabola will be congruent, correct? You can flip it or reflect it on x-axis and then overlap, right? So I hope that will help you to get the right answer. You can still pause the video, answer your question, and then look into my suggestion okay so let's begin by reading the zeros from the graph when I say zeros from the graph we are looking at x intercepts right we are looking for x intercepts so x intercepts are zero so these are the two zeros on the first graph let me mark them very clearly so once you know the zeros you can substitute the value here this graph opens upwards so a is positive 1. So in this particular case, A is positive 1. So we can write A equals to plus 1. And as far as the zeros are concerned, that means R value is minus 4 using this equation. And S value is 2. And therefore, we could write the function as f of x equals to, no need to write 1 here. You can write x minus of minus 4 is plus 4 times x minus 2. That becomes the equation for the first graph. The other graph equation will be, some of you are not using function notation, you can use quadratic equation y equals 2. Remember this graph is opening downwards, so a value here is negative 1, right? And the x intercepts, which means our zeros, are at minus 5 and, so this one is at minus 5, the other one is at 3. So we can say well, r is minus 5, s is equals to 3. When we substitute these values in our equation, what do we get? We get minus for a, right? Parabola opening downwards, it has to be negative. And x, using the first x-intercept, we get plus 5 times x minus 3. So that becomes the equation in the factored form, right? So some of you can actually find the axis of symmetry and the exact value for the vertex also as an added exercise for this particular video. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.